I wanted to go and do a demonstration that would hopefully help you understand how this process works. So just as a reminder, we were talking about the blood bucket system, which is carbonic acid and bicarbonate. And the job of this buffer in the blood is to keep the pH at 7.4. So at pH 7.4, then this system is in equilibrium, which means that we have equal concentration of carbonic acid, of bicarbonate, and most importantly, of hydrogen ions. Because it's the concentration of three hydrogen ions that determines the pH of the solution. So what the, uh, I asked you about last time was what happens when we perturb this equilibrium? And so I need some volunteers to help me with this. And so um, we're going to have three volunteers from this side. And could you pick out three volunteers from this side um, and to come up to the front? the bicarbonate will bind the 
hydrogen, and we'll shift to the left. So that's what happens, right? So do you have your, okay, good, I need yours. Okay, very good. Okay, now we need three individuals, maybe you three, right in the front row. If you can stand up. Yes, very good. Okay, now these three individuals are a base, are, are all bases. And this is the problem I gave you in lecture, right? I said, what happens if a base comes into this, uh, into this uh, blood volume? So why don't you, what, what's your name? Thomas? Max? David? Come on in to our blood volume, and what are you going to do? You're all bases, so you have a strong affinity for those. Very good. Okay. Now, what are our buffers going to do to compensate for this? Very good. Okay, so even though these three bases came in and took away the protons, our buffer took care of the situation, and there's three free protons, and our pH is? 7.4. Very good. So then that's how this system works. So you guys had to move over, right? Move over. Because they all moved over to that side of the equation, and these guys, you guys aren't a buffer. You're just bases. You have real strong affinity for these hydrogen ions, but our buffer was taking care of it, so they all moved over to the right, and that was the question that you were asked. So thank you very much. Very good job. Oh, so now the question is, well, are they all on a buffer? No, so you're absolutely right. What if I just start putting in more and more high protons? At some point, I'm going to overload the system. My buffer is not going to be able to take care of it, and then my pH is going to change. If more than four people stood up here and were bases that came in, and they right, could take more of the uh, protons out of solution, then we would end up changing the pH, right? So you can overload the system as well. Okay. We will move on now, so hopefully that helps you understand.